What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to, uh, well, to, to YouTube or Twitch or wherever you may be watching this. Today, I'm taking a look at this ranked draft Ravnica Allegiance. We kind of we kind of talked bad about it the other day, um, because it's I I've traditionally not enjoyed best of one in Magic because sideboards are a thing, and mana screw is a thing, and mana flood is a thing. But I was watching Michael Jacob yesterday, and he was doing some of these, and so like maybe it's not terrible. <clears throat> Plus, it's pretty cheap, and it helps you rank. Maybe there's something to it. Let's try it out, and we'll see what happens. Um, I also wanted to go into a little rant about um, magic streaming right now in general and how I think there are too many cooks in the kitchen. Um, I was looking yesterday at uh, at some magic streaming and like who was streaming and whatnot, and <clears throat> I came across this. Not came across, but like... <clears throat> You know, I was looking at the the streamers that were up, right? And it was pretty awkward to see like this. And I'm like, okay, so you have Owen Turtenwald streaming, Hall of Famer, 436 views. Brad Nelson streaming, Player of the Year, Pro Time Top, Pro Tour Top Eight competitor, 329 views. Shahar Shenhar, two-time world champion, 300 views. Michael Jacob, longtime MTG streamer, 250 views. And I'm just like, at what point do you actually acknowledge that there are too many cooks in the kitchen? Thank you. And you're diluting the streamer base a little too much. <clears throat> Danny with the five gifted subs. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Thank you. you are awesome, dude. I mean, <clears throat> my point was just that you shouldn't have, Thank like, it's, it's weird that we're in a world where... Owen, Brad Nelson, Shahar Shenhar, and Michael Jacob are all getting around three to four hundred views. And like it's weird. It's weird to me. Thank you. <clears throat> because it's like like if you're making sure that the top thirty two players in the world, the top thirty two MPL players, all have streaming contracts. <clears throat> it's there's only 24 hours in a day, right? So, right, not to be, to be fair, not all those pros are great at streaming. It's a different skill set, no offense to them. I agree with you. However, the problem is not everyone's going to know that. So they're going to go watch Brad because he's Brad Nelson. They're going to watch Shahar Shenhar because he's Shahar Shenhar. <clears throat> and so you're going to have people that are willing to sacrifice that streaming skill for that magic skill, right? And it's interesting because it's like, you're just taking streamers who are working their asses off like for a year, for two years, however long they've been streaming. And you're just throwing a bunch of pros in the pool that are going to get easy views because of their, their pedigrees. And understandably so. But it's just weird to me. And it feels like there are just too many cooks in the kitchen. Like it feels like you're oversaturating the magic streaming arena. And like the thing is like these guys like Brad Nelson who are all the MPL guys, right? It doesn't matter if they get views because they already have their contracts. They're already making the 75k a year from from Magic from from Wizards of the Coast, so it doesn't actually matter to them. They could stream and get 100 views. It doesn't matter. But to guys like me who do it for a living, it makes a difference. It makes a big difference. So, you know, it almost feels like they're pushing the people out who've worked their asses off. My Twitch recommended channels as of literally right now. Let me see what you got here. <clears throat> Huey Jensen, Jeff Hoagland, Reed Duke, Matt Nass, Andrew Cudio, and Alexander Hain. Wow. Yeah, that's pretty nuts. That is pretty nuts. Yeah, and they're all streaming at the same time. And it's like, how are any of these players going to do... Like, how are they going to do... Any, I, and it doesn't matter if they do anything, right? Like, it doesn't matter if they're any good. They could all just stream for the sake of streaming and be terrible at it. And they're still getting paid, right? And uh, so that's just interesting to me. And it sucks because, like, you're actually incentivizing the streamers who don't have any reason to, to, to make it the best of the best. And they're de-incentivizing the streamers who were actually working their asses off for their own sake. Like, I've, I've streamed and I've made my... I've tried to make my stream awesome because it it's good for me. Because it's good for me. It's good for you guys. What's good for you guys is good for me, right? But 
now it's like, well, they don't need to work on it. They're just pros. So like throw them in there. And that's no offense to the pros whatsoever. Like they're, they're, they're new streamers, right? Like, I don't know. I, I, I would be surprised if Reed Duke had ever streamed before uh, the MPL thing. Right. But <clears throat> I don't know. It's interesting. Um, you know, on the one hand, I'm interested to see how it shakes out. And on the other hand, it's a little scary because Wizards has the money to oversaturate the magic streaming, uh, I guess, arena, you know, no pun intended. And um, by doing so, you're pushing out the streamers that you're not supporting. But it's plain and simple. It's literally supply and demand. There are not enough magic viewers to support as many pros as Josh just showed me in that image, which is pretty comical. Um, so I don't know. It's it's weird, and uh, it's been it's been giving me a lot of apprehension lately and uh, anxiety. And I uh, just wanted to communicate that with you guys because you guys are cool. I am gonna, Mangar. Thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. I'm gonna take this shark to crab. That's a solid dude to start out with. Oh, and then we got this guy, but I think we're just going to take the Troll Bread Guardian. These are both 5-5s. Five one costs 5, one costs 4. This is infinitely easier to cast. Skitter Eel and Applied Biomancy could come back. So could the Guild Gate or this guy. This is a good start. I'm okay with these two these two opening cards. I do like a Growth Spiral. I also just like Sylvan... Oh, a Chillburger. Never mind. <laughs> no, don't make me. <clears throat> Yeah, I think Ben hit 100 viewers last night when everyone, whenever, so I, I was looking at Seth Manfield as well, and Seth Manfield, Seth Manfield, world champion, like, Hall of Famer, had 100 views, at 100 viewers at one point, he was hovering around 100 viewers for a couple hours last night. Once everyone got offline, once it was like Seth and like one other person, Seth shot up to like 1,000 views, right? But it was interesting because at that moment, I was like, wow, this is ridiculous. Seth Manfield, of all people, has 100 views, like, that's just not... It just, it was weird. It was a little weird. And, like, I get it. Like, it makes total sense. When you look at it, it's not like, I don't understand this. I wonder why it's so bad. And um, the reason is because there's just, it's just oversaturation. Like, it's just, I don't know what they were thinking. Like, it seems like a weird strategy. Like, on one hand, Magic is, I looked at I looked at the, the rankings, and Magic is, like, number 10, and Hearthstone was, like, number 32 in, like, Twitch streams, right? As far as games go. But... The problem is, like, you're getting that, that notoriety at the cost of the people who have put, you know, time and, and heart into this game, you know? So. What can you do? <clears throat> 24 7, 365 streaming year. That's actually a good idea. I'll just say at some point, the market will adjust. People might watch other streamers, but after a point, they'll pick those that they find appealing to do on a long-term basis. Most of the people here have been... Yeah, I agree. And it's fun. It's it's always nice to see all the people who have been here for a while. And you can definitely tell the people who actually uh, enjoy the content because of what it is. It's either one of these two. I don't think we're in, I don't think we're in Simic Guildgate territory just yet. Shut up and take my money. One preach bug. <laughs> I'm here for the memes, guys. I'm here for the memes. Rightfully so. They're good memes. They're good memes, Brent. Your voice quality and sense of humor. Wow, that's great to hear. Everyone compliments me on my voice quality, and I never actually think about it as a, as a quality I have. But I do get a lot of voice... Co oh, one thing I was thinking. I was actually wondering if I could do voiceover work. I was wondering if there would be a mark... Like, I don't know how to break into that, though. If anybody has any ideas on how to get into voice work, let me know. It's definitely something I've been considering for a long time. I'm going to take this Rubble Slinger. I, it, I think that pick was kind of... This pack's bad, but we have a Bull Rack. And Bull Rack is pretty good in Simi. I don't want to take a Quench here. I'll just take the Bull Rack. We'll see what happens. Oh, a Mammoth Spider. Alright, we have four or five drops right now. Gross Spasms need to be... Oh, I would take this Gateway Plaza, but I'm, I'm a bigger tor Swirling Torrent fan. Gruel Guildgate? Okay. I'm game. Simi Guildgate? Okay. I'm game. Gross Spiral? That's what, we, that's what we're looking for. I want to be able to ramp into these five and sixes. Yeah, all right. You can just go over here. I do a weekly podcast. It was called Freshly Brewed, <clears throat> which I think we're, we put on hiatus again. Me and, me and Ollie just couldn't agree on like things. It was really sad. I was doing most of the work for the podcast, and like it was, I was getting, I was getting irritated with Ollie, and I don't, I don't know if it was his fault or not, but it was just like. <clears throat> oh, 
Oh, take a class and get an agent. As long as it's that easy, then then we're good. I'm probably just gonna take this Skitter Eel. I think Skitter Eel is uh is a card that's very good, and I I personally oh all right. I think I'll pretty much always take Gatebreaker Ram. I think as long as you have one gate uh in play for this guy, you're in good shape. Wow, double swirling torrent. I mean, I'm game for double swirling torrent. There's nothing else in this pack that I would even care about. <clears throat> oh, this guy's good in the in the Simic deck for sure. Skatewing Spirino. And two drop. This deck's actually looking very good so far. Essence Capture? I actually like Essence Capture here. Probably better than Steeple Creeper. Kurt, what is this you're sending me? This is the site. What did you... I'm looking. I'm opening it. I gotcha. I gotcha. Leaving Facebook. All right. I'll, I'll leave Facebook. I like that it was a Facebook link. Did you message it to me and then you sent it anyway? I don't know. Magic's hard. Or, <laughs> internet's hard. <clears throat> oh, that's interesting. I actually should ask Elk Tears about it. I come here for the memes, but I stay for the atmosphere. You said I watched other streams and they are not as fun. Wow, that's actually... See, that's a great compliment. If someone was like, you're a terrible Magic player, but your stream is super fun, I'd be like, that's better. But also, I'd be like, I have a Pro Tour Top 8, you stupid idiot. Don't be a dummy. I'll crush you. Oh, old Galloping Lizrog. We can add it to our selection of five drops. I actually think I just want the Growth Spiral here. Oh, hold on. Valtrex Pomegranate, what are you saying right now? Uh, there's a lot going on, so I miss things. If you're making a sandwich and you're forced to use a heel piece, do you A, put the crust in, B, put the crust out, abandon... Ah, I put the crust out. It's still... It's not good. I don't think you abandon the sandwich. I think it's crust out. But it's not great. <clears throat> Freshly snoozed. Wow. Wow. I think it's not only so many streamers' voices are awful, I also think they just don't... They don't put any quality into the actual equipment, right? Uh, I'm gonna take the Rose Spiral. What was the other option? I forgot it by now. We're doing good. This is a good this is a good chat stream. We're having a good a good rant stream. I'll take that shield. I'll go shield on you. Brother says you can make some good really interesting. How do they how do they tell you apart? That would be interesting because I'm like, how do you know? Like, cause you, it seems like it's more like it's not like a thing you can search, right? Like you can't like search for voices, right? So like if I was like if I had my writing, uh, I guess it's the same thing as writing. Yeah, I guess that's fair. I'm gonna take the Sphinx of Foresight because it's a four-four flyer and it's very reasonably costed. You have a nice voice and your swoop is nice. That's all. Oh, frilled mystic. God, they're just like they're giving it. They're giving it all to me, and I'm just I'm really grateful. I almost like having one stony stony strength in here just because of all the creatures that are like when this dude gets a counter um each creature with a with the counter has flying that's good what's the other the shark cramp that's only oh this is actually whenever whenever a counter is put on it that's pretty good that does make this better but there's also a gate colossus but we only have two gates so far so I think we're actually gonna go with the trick gatebreaker ram okay we're gonna take this gatebreaker ram and then we're gonna now we're gonna take the gates pretty highly if we can see them we can see this. Oh, is it Guild? Is it Simic Guild Gate? Or is it Gateway Plaza? Let's take the Simic Guild Gate. Uh, Sagittarius is nice for this. That's a late skewer of the critics. I think Borax is actually worth splashing if we can if we can get our deck down. It's just a very good creature. I mean, especially in the Simic deck where you have a bunch of counters. Wait, there's no sideboard. This is best of one. All right, skewer it is. 
<laughs> Good. Wow. Well, glad you caught that. Because I forgot about that. I was like, oh, this is a great sideboard card. In case they have the flyers. Nope. We'll just... Uh... Oh, Simicill Gate. Yes. All the gates are coming together now. This is great. Eh, this guy's strong. Maybe we'll put him in the sideboard. Eh, this guy's strong. Maybe we'll put him in the sideboard. Stable Creeper? Actually, don't mind having one of those those jobbies. Wow. Claim your prizes. Okay, so is this actually 40 cards exactly? What? 6, 7, uh, 12, 15, 14, 15, 16, 17. Fascinating. Three red sources for one Rubble Belt and one Skewer the Critics. Is that good enough? Maybe. How many creatures are you looking at? 13 creatures? That seems low. I could probably take the gift out for another creature if we have something worth playing. Oh, the Bulrack's not in here? We're definitely playing the Bulrack. <clears throat> then we got 5 drop, 5 drop, 5 drop, 5 drop. It's not terrible. Take out the Gift of Strength. Yeah, I think this is good. One, two, three, four, five, ten to six, seven, eight, nine. Ten, nine? Okay. Yeah, that's fine. All right, let's do it. It's usually Hunter or Lil Man making bets, Lil Man. <laughs> oh, God. I'm all over this. Um, well. I'll keep it. We're going to draw a Simic Guild Gate anyway, so it's fine. How many losses do you get in the best of one? Two or three? Is it three? I think it's two. Oh, wow. Two Gaper Grams, and they're not even, uh... They're not even powered up. Actually, I call him Little Man, so that's perfect. Whatever. It's a 2-2 two -two for three. That just has a high upside. If we can draw... You get three losses in this format? That's crazy. What is this? No, dude. Get out of my face! Get into my face. Come on, Guildgate, one time. We have five of them in the deck. So we have a one in six chance of a Guildgate. That was not a Guildgate, nor was it a land at all. They're like, you know you can't. All right, sure. Got him. I forget this is best of one. I'm like, oh man, this is a lot more. Where's a little wing today? Who is little wing again? Oh, that's old juggly. Guildgate, not a guildgate. Okay, well. I don't even want to, I don't actually even want to send with this, this guy, because these guys in the long game are just going to be so much better than they are now. Mike B was Lil Wing? Oh, man. I, he would be Lil Wing, wouldn't he? Lil Boofy's still in prison, unfortunately. Oh, the old, uh, the old this guy with one, with one blue. Since you already ignore my introduction, I feel hard. What did you say? Dang it, Jeno. Hold on. Okay, well, we can do a thing here. Probably bounce this guy. Okay, let's not use all the red, just in case we draw, like, Skewer the Critics or something. <coughs> well, Shark to Crab's a thing, I guess. So they can double block here. Just 
feel like our attacks are not great. Which is sad. We're trying to hit guild gates here. We're trying to hit guild gates here. I want to pass. I don't think this is worth these two, especially because this guy already drew them a card, so it's basically just these two. Oh, the old double ill-gotten inheritance, eh? Well, that's something. Let's kill this guy. Yeah, we gotta be a little careful about these. We are basically at seven. So we have like three turns to win. That's pretty cool. Yep, that's less cool. Oh boy. Yep, this is not what we want to be drawn. Uh, I already played through Spider-Man, so I don't think the odds of that are high. However, I mean, I like streaming other things. The problem is that it's so time-consuming that, it, like, it doesn't... I can't, like, replace a magic stream with it because that's how I make my living. <laughs> so then I'd mostly be doing it just, like, as a, as a, as a recreational hobby. So this is 8 damage here, you just go for me and then for, oh god, we're basically dead here. And it doesn't feel good. Yep, they're basically at a million. They just, mm-hmm. Yeah, this is rough. We're gonna go to 8, then we go to 4, then they're just, we're just dead. Having a bad time. Yeah, all right. So this game's over. Yeah, I feel like Ill-Gotten Inheritance can, is probably not great. Uh, I, that's actually my feeling as well. I'm like, oh, so if they can just kill us with Ill-Gotten this one game, then we lose the match. That's pretty rough. That's actually hilarious because that's literally was instinctually what I felt as soon as they played it. I was like, uh... And then they played a second one, and I was like, I see. Eh, I don't love this hand, but I'll keep it. We also had double gate breaker and not a single, single gate. So that's kind of cool. And by cool, I mean not cool at all. Oh, we're playing Mother. Oh, that's something. Wow, still no gates. It's kind of impressive. Like, <laughs> two matches, no gates. Five gates in the deck. Five gates in the deck. Sure. Oh, yeah, that's a good dude. They didn't do anything? Yeah, well. So do they have another red card? That's the question. I get to do this again? I love turtles. Wow. Yeah, I'm not sure it's accurate, but... You do get to do it again. Alright, they didn't have a second red, so we get to dodge... Sundering Shaman. We do not get to dodge that, however. Ooh. Pretty sure this is just going to win us the game. Being able to play this 5-5 and then... Frilled Mystic up. I think a comic and can candy review stream? 
That like these aren't even like streams. These are mostly YouTube videos. The guys, the things you guys are suggesting are basically just YouTube videos. Um, yeah, that's fine. I'm not gonna pump this and take down Frilled Mystic. Three, four, five, six. If we draw one more land, we can pump it and keep up Frilled Mystic. So I don't want to get too greedy, even though that would have dealt like four damage. Yeah, that's a no for me, dog. And see, like, just like that, the match is over, right? Like, me counter... Oh, because it can't be countered. Well, I guess we're just putting that back on top. I always forget about the can't be counter clause, so I guess we're just going to have to win this the old-fashioned way. With a chill bringer. And a swirling torrent. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, this is fine. I mean, despite this guy being down, the match is still over. Yeah. Yep. So, if this guy's a 7-7, seven, seven, they have to double block. I can block here, block here. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I guess they still have to deal with this guy. Uh, put you on top, put you on the end. Yeah, I don't think they can attack here. I mean, they only have 13 total power. Even if all their guys get haste, they have no, I have no artifacts or enchantments they can kill. Milled fish stick? That's pretty hilarious. So you're tapped out. Now these guys have reach? Okay. Zagon, what's going on, buddy? I'm all right. Let's claim that prize. And what a prize it is. What a glorious day. Uh, yeah, I'll keep this hand. You never go shark to crab, guys. Let's see what unplayable uncommon is behind. Oh, wow, that was a good draw. All right, I'm game. I would love a land next turn. I'll take a gate. I'll, I'll reluctantly take a gate. But I would also like a land. Just just land, land would be great because we got infinite. Three five drops and a six drop. Okay, red card. Actually, red card's fantastic here. 
Oh no, I was thinking of a uh, a different, a totally different thing that is not a red card. Got it. There he is. Where is he? Where? Hey, that's pretty good. Uh, let's do no attacks because I don't really want to die to steeple creeper. And by that, I don't mean I want, my, I, want my, I don't want my gatekeeper ram, gate breaker ram, to die to steeple creeper. If it's a gate breaker ram, why does it get strength with each gate? Is it getting stronger as it breaks them? Because they're still here. Like you kind of, you kind of, you kind of dropping the ball here. So salty, welcome back. I thought I, I thought I subscribed for a year. Yeah, well, guess you just have to stick around for another month and see what happens. And the rubble attaches to his horns and makes them stronger. I actually have no idea if that's canon or if you're just making that up. Uh, I'm not gonna block because I don't have float. Are you going to kill this guy in response? Are you going to bounce it in response? No. This is all fascinating. Sure. Hmm. That's fascinating. This is all fascinating. I'm fascinated. Seems good. Here he comes to save the day. Okay, so any untapped land is pretty good. I'll take a mountain. One mountain, just right off the top. We have a lot of good cards in our hand that, that turn on with mountains. You know what? That'll do too. I accept that as well. Bullrack being able to kill both of these is pretty good, but we don't have a thing for, for old Bullrackles. Could just be this guy. I guess we're going to attack and see if they double block. They probably would, right? Oh, this is an easy double block here. I, I actually... Alright, sure. That's actually better for us. Yeah, this is pretty dumb now. They had quench. <laughs> oh, good times. Good times. But no blocks. Cause if we get another gate, this is a 1-5, which is significantly better than not a 1-5. We can draw any land. A gate is okay, because we still have plays. An untapped land is great. And a red is great, so I think we're good. That's an interesting attack. Like... All right. Here I come to save the day. Do we just want Rubble Slinger to block here and a hybrid, maybe? I don't feel like we're in a great position for Swirling Torrent here. They're just going to redraw this, replay it. Like, we don't have a lot of good attacks to get through, so... Also, if you guys are watching on YouTube, feel free to check me out on Patreon and on Twitch. The links are in the description below. It's a great way to support the channel if you guys are interested. 
You can also check out MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore. You'll get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. Like you do. I wonder if they forgot this had a reach. I feel like it's possible. Because a lot of like it's just like it's kind of like an innocuous 2-3 that just randomly has reach. Sure. That guy's pretty big. Is your last card a quench? I don't think so. Yeah, so next time we're both putting both of these on top, attacking for a million. Yeah, I'll probably put that on top instead. Really? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I just block here. I'll go to four and I'll just get rid of both of these guys. Nope, not that one. Put a creature on top, you. Turn to the hand, you. I'm sorry, what? Why did it select the same one twice? Uh... Yep, that was a big difference. That was a big deal. I don't know why we're doing this, but all right. problem is I don't even feel like it was probably a misclick on my part like I don't even feel like it's like a, an issue of arena I just probably clicked too close and uh... yeah if you're putting the counter on this guy I'm definitely blocking the 4-5 what really Interesting. Was not expecting that. Uh, we could return the ram and we could return the other guy to our hand. But. I feel like we had enough on board to really like out-tempo them. I don't think we have enough. I didn't want to like waste time and be like, oh, I'll bounce my guy, replay my guy. Because we couldn't even replay the guy that turn. So like we'd have to bounce it that turn, next turn replay it, turn after that attack, and it's just it's it's a it's it's kind of a an investment. Um, yeah, I'll keep this in. We're not looking good in terms of Frilled Mystic, but if we get a second island. Ooh, that's nice. Simic, Simic Guildgate right off the top. Ready? Pass, pass, this guy. That's a better use of mana. Like next turn, if this guy gets through, we can play Gatebreaker and Skewer the Critics. So, Well, he will not be getting through, unfortunately. I'm gonna kill this guy because really it's an obnoxious attack ob obnoxious obnoxious blocker and I think all of our attackers are are worth more than that the noxious Grudion so okie dokie there's no way they block this If 
fear not, fish stick. We will cast you one day. He's well. We're we're on board. We're on board to cast. So, you know. Bring it. Come on. Come at me, bro. Oh, they didn't they didn't play anything. That's six. I'm gonna just pass because I wanna be able to keep quench up in case they have like consigned to consigned to death. I don't know what that card's called. So you take so we take eight? Consigned to the pit? Is that what it's called? I think I just I think I just came up with that off the top of my head. I'm very good at this. Uh-huh. I feel like people are not taking these best of ones seriously. They're just like, alright, I'm gonna do whatever ridiculous thing I can here. Whatever. I'll take it. We're ranking up. I got. I, I can feel those two packs coming, buddy. These are quick, though, which is nice. I mean, I'll, I'm going to give it to them. It is, I'm playing Magic and it's quick. God, I... I oh, man. I'm so, like... Yeah, this is capable. Oh, we get to Scry 3? Oh, I've never had to do this before. Okay. Are we on the draw? I assume we're on the draw. I'm going to put this on top. I'm going to keep all of these. No, don't... No, you can stay. No, come back. Yeah, done. Oh yes. Oh yes, we're doing it, guys. Turn three, four, four ram into turn four shark to crab or sphinx. Oof. Our deck is nuts. Some more stakes are made and weird decisions taken. Yeah, well, here we are. Here we are. You got it. Well, essence capture is real awkward now, but what can you do? Probably gonna play crab because they're gonna play one guy. We can tap it down and attack for nine. Uh, do I think Sphinx is gonna see standard play? No, I don't think it's that good. It needs to do. You need to do more in standard than just scry. Well, that was a good, good game. <laughs> yep, good game. Gatebreaker Ram is a real magic card, apparently. God, I keep getting these little cast twenty white or blue spells. All right, well, we're on, we're on the right track. I need some help. I'm about to go next door and challenge the loud senior citizens to a fist fight in the parking lot. I need some backup because these two old birds can be feisty. You got my back. I don't think so. Only due to distance. If I were there, I would for sure take on some old senior citizens in a fist fight. However, unfortunately, the distance is going to keep us apart here. I don't like 4 4 5 6 hand, but I do have. Okay, so now we're now we're in a little better shape because of that. If we draw a green and a blue source, we can go Gross Spiral into Gross Spiral and have like six mana. I don't hate that. Please stop playing things. Okay, well, one down. I think we're actually dead because this is this one's actually too cool. Or too fast, rather. These old ladies are cool. I gave them a couple of beers the other day in the elevator. They do not act. That's awesome, actually. Please don't fist fight them, then. That would be my... That would be my recommendation. 
Let's see what we can draw here. It's not what we wanted. That would have been what we wanted. Wow, that would have been great. One draw away. Hmm. I think we're dead. Our deck is sweet yet slow. That's how I describe Michael sometimes. He's sweet yet slow. <laughs> oh lord. Oh, that's just Michael. He's sweet but slow. If we block here, this guy dies. If we block here, he doesn't die, but they just bring this bones back. So either way, like they either they have to spend two mana to do it, I guess. If you're eating piles of bacon every day, I wonder if you're going to actually make it to get old. Fascinating. I can't attack, which is nice. So you just play both of these, I guess. I guess you play all three of them. No, you only have two black. So we can block here. We'll take one, they'll pump this guy. One, two, three, four, and still play the thing. Yikes. That is a yikes from me. Also, I click this again, and it didn't. It almost didn't highlight. So there's definitely something going on. There's definitely some shenanigans happening. You think there's any life gain in our in our in our teamer deck? Well, that that would have been nice last turn, but this is just four damage by itself, unfortunately. I'm not thrilled with this situation that we're in. Oh, I'll pump this. No? Oh, we just take one? Great news. Great news, everyone. Next turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We wouldn't have enough mana to do two things anyway. Boom, 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 boom. Is blowing out refurb LG TVs if anyone's in the market? They're blowing them out? I don't think I know, you know what does that mean? They're, they're, are they just throwing them in the garbage? I'm kidding, I know upload. I mean, it's just a funny saying. Oh, we didn't play our land. That was great of us. That was great, because that makes a... That could have made a difference. I'm glad it did not, but... Guys, where we're going, we don't need land drops. Block, 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 and then we just die to this. No, this guy, we got one. No, we, yeah, yeah, okay. We're doing it. Bird brains, sweet but slow. Thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. 
Really appreciate it. So if you pump this guy. All right, we're going to three. We're not dead, which I'm pretty amazed by, to be honest with you. That's a big dude. Um, I don't think that's great, actually. A land would be nice. Not that one. Okay. Yeah, we can only do one thing. We can tap this guy down, which is lethal. And we can block here and take one. Well. That bear duck thing. <laughs> Oh, what's up, Flash15? Appreciate it. Read Duke in the morning, Frank in the afternoon, Char in the evening. This is all. Yeah, so, like, that's the thing. Like, this is what I mean. There's just too much going on. Um, It's not that. It's either Frilled Mystic or no, no attacks. Wow, we were doing great until they played this terrible six drum. What a generic mistake that was. Can you imagine if we have one more land? Like one non untapped land. Well, we got a block. Otherwise, we die. Well, they can't get back Gutter Bones this turn, which is nice. Oh my god, they had nothing? Wow. They're like looking at my graveyard. Do they have macabre? Macabre waltz? What macabre dance? No attacks. End the turn. Okay. They're like trying to get back a guy. Maybe they get back shark to crab. Shark to crab do 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 do. Macabre mockery. That's what it's called. Yeah. All right. That's good. That's not what we care about. Well, they're looking at our graveyard, so it's not dead rebels. Thank you. I guess I've been here for a little bit. How long is it? It doesn't even say. Dang it, Kerwit. Dang it. Are these guys on the are these guys standing on the top of the same building? Alright. Go to two. This guy's been lethal for a long time now. Oh, this is great. They're doing something expensive. No, sir. No, sir. Take that action. And they can't get back this guy anymore? Oh, boy. Yeah, I'll keep that guy for sure. Can I attack with anything? Probably this guy. They only have two creatures, right? Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. How is this game alive? Oh my god. Are you serious? How is that even real? That's unbelievable to me. 
Number of games, number of matches lost, two. Number of matches lost to ill-gotten inheritance, two. Yep. So they block here, they take four, five, yeah, that's, that doesn't matter. That's so dumb, dude. Guess I should have let the Rakdos resolve. Badger with the resub. Thanks so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. I don't know why it said not. I didn't. No, no, no. I'm not sure why I didn't say resub. It just said sub. But oh god, I hate these. I don't like it's so uncommon to have these double gate gatebreaker ram hands with no gates whatsoever. Where does it show it in the chat? I don't even see it in the chat. Did I miss it? It just says Kerr was subscribed to Twitch Prime. I uh Kerr uh Kerr with your devotion has not gonna notice to like Yeah, I knew Twitch was having some weird issues, but... Oh my god, and I played the wrong way. This is it. We're done. We're done. I was reading the chat, and then I play the wrong land. It's all downhill from here, guys. I mean, if we can draw a gate next turn, preferably a Gruul Guild gate, that would be great. I'd really appreciate that magic. Can we do it one time? No blocks. That's not what we're looking for, but I might... Nah, we'll just play Skittering Eel. Skitter Eel, not Skittering Eel. It's not a... It's not... It's not Skittering. It is a Skitter Eel. Jam and Dex, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. I'm not going to block that either. This guy is just better than this guy. Plus, they got five mana up. Come on. Oh, that's a big, that's a big fat idiot. Well, we are hoping for a land there, but... Uh, Magic was like, nah, we good. Oh, that would have been nice last turn. Alright, so... Basically, this is a... Uh, an embarrassment of... Of... Not... What's the opposite of riches? Oh, crying out loud. I think we may have uh, met our match here. I guess let's hope you don't have any trick whatsoever except for plus one plus one. Plus one plus one is still two for two. An embarrassment of debt. Yeah, that's, that's probably about right. Of course you do. Why wouldn't you have that? Lucky, 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 lucky. It's not really lucky they had a combat trick. I mean... Yeah, red card. Sounds good. Okay. Well, it's unfortunate we can't... We missed like three land drops. So what can you do? This is what it looks like in chat. Oh! I, oh, I see. I'm also using uh, Chatty, which is like a, an app. So they'll probably have to update that. That's that makes sense because that looks like more of an ex that looks like more of a it's not actual text text. So how many how many would we get? Four hundred and fifty gems. Wow, and this costs what seven fifty? Okay. Well, I don't know if that was worth it, but maybe. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. That was only fifty nine minutes. That was a short draft, guys. That was a short draft. These these uh, traditional these ranked drafts, and I had a big rant at the beginning. Either way, we'll see how this does. If you guys like it, let me know. If you guys like the ranked drafts, let me know. If not, don't let me know. But I'm not going anywhere if you're watching on Twitch. If you're watching on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Check me out on Twitch and Patreon. Slam the like and subscribe buttons. I'll see you guys next time. Definitely let me know what you think of the best of one matches.